Egocentrism by Delaney Schnell, Sheree Mora, and Jaslyn Aguirre. Egocentrism in psychology is defined as the incomplete differentiation of the self and the world. In other words, it is the tendency to perceive, interpret, and understand the world in one's own terms. While that statement is not necessarily negative, it is made so by the idea that people that display egocentric characteristics center their understanding of the world around themselves. Egocentrism presents itself differently throughout the stages of human development, which are divided up and defined in psychology. Ages 2 to 7, for example, are known as a pre-operational stage of development. In this stage, Children have begun representing things with words and images, but have yet to display an ability for logical reasoning. They're curious, driving their parents insane with their constant but whys and how comes. They also have begun making judgments, albeit general, opinionated ones often based on a few characteristics and the child's opinion on the subject or person. This stage is known as the beginning of egocentrism. Egocentrism in the pre-operational stage can be displayed by a child's tendency to do what they want, when they want, because they want to. Like not wanting to eat yucky vegetables that they may have never tried, throwing a tantrum because they wanted to keep playing in the park instead of going home, or not cleaning the room when they're told because they don't want to. The next stage, ages 7 through 11, is known as the concrete operational stage. Children have begun thinking logically about concrete events grasping concrete analogies, and performing mathematical operations. Children at this age still have difficulty understanding abstract concepts. In this stage, egocentrism can be seen in the way they play games. For example, two little girls are playing a house. One wants to be the mother, because she understands a mother has unquestioned authority over their children and wants to exercise such power over her friend and the world they create. The other little girl gets upset, because she also wants to have control over their playtime. The next stage is the formal operational stage, and it includes adolescence and adulthood. Here, people begin to display the ability to reason abstractly. They can understand and conceive complex emotions, concepts, and idea. They begin to mature. In adolescence, egocentrism is easily found in the mentality common to teenagers and young adults that no one understands how they feel. Even if whom they're speaking to probably does, or if there are many in the world that feel the same way. Egocentrism in adults can be seen in how they value their priorities over others. For example, an adult that is in a hurry may cut to the front of the line. He either doesn't consider or doesn't give value to the idea that others may also be in a hurry, and he is therefore inconveniencing others by putting himself first. Egocentrism is not isolated to just the individual stages, however. Egocentrism as a whole is critical to the development of human cognition and personality. Your perception of self and the world around you guides how you conduct yourself and live your life. Created using Powtoon.